Welcome to the beautiful world of Cat5 wiring and how to make those plugs at the end. Why Cat5? Because pretty much everything in the supermarket now for refrigeration communicates through Cat5 wire now. So if it's going to be a need to controller, that communicates through Cat5 to another one. If it's a new site supervisor, same thing, Cat5, if you want to connect you through in a laptop, Cat5 wiring. The Danfoss controller, same thing, Cat5 wiring. It all goes to the store network. So this video should help you guys to what to look for in the Cat5 wiring when there's no communication to another controller. So you can check the plug, if you have to run a new wire and how to make the connections at the ends. So hopefully this video will help you out. And here are the tools that I have to help me do this. The tester, my Klein crimpers for the Cat5. I love those bad boys. My strippers, make sure you have a good pair that cuts very well. And my caps, my plugs at the very end for the Cat5. So this is my Cat5 wiring that I got from Home Depot. It's just literally 500 feet. It'll say Cat5 E, indoor, outdoor. This is what I use. So I'm just cutting a little piece of it. Put it back in so it won't get loose. So here we go. These are the two ends of the connection I'll be making. And here's my Cat5 plugs. Same place, I just got these from Home Depot. Nothing special. Just pulling out a couple. One more. So you can see, pretty much clear through so you can see the wiring when you put them in. We'll get to that later. There you can focus. Right through there. So let's start a cut. You want to make sure you don't cut through the wire. There you go. All the wires come out twist like that. You have to undo them. But I gotta get this little strain right here. There you go. Let's cut it off. Then you usually have a little piece of it still coming out. I usually don't like that, so I try to clean up my wiring as much as I can. So this I clean that up. Just push it up and he gets rid of it. Clean wiring. No more little whisker. Now let's undo these wires right here. I have to untwist them all. Once the wiring is undone, it's all loose. This is the wiring diagram for the cat file that we'll be following. So this is the color coordination from one to eight that we're gonna do. The video is gonna be fast forward right here, but you can see the this is the same schematic I'm gonna follow. Every time I separate one, I try to just pinch it on the other end so it won't get loose and be all over the place. And I just put them together. Make sure nothing gets out of place. Get my good strippers or hair cutters. Nice clean cut. Sometimes if you have bad ones, it'll do half cuts and it'll just be very bad at the end. So let me get my Cat5 plug. And before I jam it in all the way, I'll make sure the wires hit the exact same way. One through eight. And that they're in all the way. Now before you crimp them, once again, make sure that it's in perfect order, one through eight. The same color coordination as you see in the picture. So once I verify, yep, that's correct. Push it in a little bit more. Grab my crimpers. And twice for good measure. There you go. That's my first connection, my first plug made. Yeah, not gonna come off, so I'm happy with that. 
Now to do the other end. First cut, make sure I don't go all the way through. A little string right here. My little whisker. Clean it up. You can do this with belt and uh, sensor wires at the cases too. I usually do this all the time to clean up my wires. And now to separate these bad boys at the end. I like to give myself a good amount of wire at the ends. If I have to cut them, make them shorter, clean them up a little bit more. So that's usually what I give myself. So now I gotta put them in coordination. Just gonna fast forward again, but one through eight. This is a universal standard Cat5 wiring that they taught me. And if you look it up online, you pretty much see a cross of the same color coordination from one through eight. And you'll see that green one, number six, struggling. So sometimes you'll do have wires like they just twist all the way and gives you trouble. Yeah, see, so that's what happens sometimes when I cut them too long, but as long as they're perfect and I put them together and I can just cut it off so it won't be that bad at the end. You'll have twists at the bottom, but as long as they go into the plug, the same color coordination, I'll be good. Now, if you don't do a clean cut, you'll struggle a little bit like that. You get a little bit of struggle. Just make sure they all go through. Checking the wiring. Now all the way through. My beautiful crimpers right now. So you can see the model number. So let's put them in, crimp them. Twice so we can measure. There you go. So now both my ends are done. So I'm just gonna double check the wire real quick. I always double check, triple check, it's just me. So now, here's my uh, cable tester right here for Cat5 wires. Usually, they're not short wires, they're across the store, so this is what I put in the ends to test if the Cat5 is good or bad. I've had this for a while, I think I just got it for a hundred buck at Fry's. So I put the transmitter at the machine room, the receiver at the store network, but all the modem switchers are at, and I test the Cat5 for communication. But on this one, I'm going to test my wire that I just made. There we go. Looks good. All green. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? That's how you make a Cat5 wire. So let's just say what happens if you twist them and it's bad. All right, then. Well, let's do one real quick. I want to make one with the number 7 and 8 crossed over so you can see what happens, how the tester is going to show that it's not good. And you don't have to make these just for the supermarkets, man. You can make it at your house too for whatever you guys want. Cat5 wiring is pretty much everywhere now for communication. Separating them, make sure I got one through, here we go. So seven and eight are gonna be crossed. So I'm gonna put the brown one, eight as seven. Again. Like now, so that one's already on. Now I'm going to put the bat end here. And there you go. Right away, it tells me to reverse it, not the fourth. 
So the one to the left is a good wire, the one to the right is a bad. And that's where you can just correct your wire, cut the plug off and redo it. I've seen a lot of people when the clip breaks off, they order a new Cat5 wire or the whole thing. We can just cut the end and make your own. So hopefully this video will help you guys how to make your own wires. Just get one of these bad boys to test it. And like I said earlier, man, you don't have to do this just for the refrigeration and the supermarkets for communication. Do it at your house for your internet. Make everything Cat5 at your house. Get the, go to Home Depot, get the stuff and you're all set. Hope this video helped you guys out. Subscribe, leave a like, and uh, thank you so much for watching.